Welcome to a short little segment I'm calling Fun With Boxes. Back when I was uh, in the middle of the Zeffeldar project, one of the videos I covered was was to design the screen for the game. And really what it consisted of was a series of boxes. And I was tempted at that point to write a program to just do the boxes, but instead my uh, tutorial covered how to use the screen designer and then copy the data from the screen designer into the pro project and display the, da the screen from that, from that data. But it did get me to thinking during that time that it would be fun to write a quick program to draw some boxes. And that's what this uh, video is about. So let's, uh, let's take a look at that. So what I did is I wrote a quick program that will draw, just draw a box. And uh, what it does is it uses a random number generator that I, a program that I extracted from my Pat clone project. And essentially it takes the it's, it's creating a random number for the x position and the y position and then the width and the height and then when you call the program to draw the box it draws it in a random x a random y and a random color position and and then it draws the box so let's show you that it's probably more confusing to explain it what it does <laughs> So you see it picked a random X, a random Y, a random color, and then it drew the box, and then a random width and height. So if, if I were to run this endlessly, just jump back to the beginning, it will run really quick and it will quickly fill the screen with a bunch of boxes and every every eventually every position on that on the screen will get filled okay so let me throw it back to the way it was before comment that out now the draw box routine itself um, is right here draw box and really the meat and potatoes of the program is right here, the loop. So what it's trying to do is it draws the horizontal lines first, the top line and the bottom line. So position 400 essentially would be the very top line. And then it adds the height to it and then it would draw that bottom line. So it does the, the top line and the bottom line going across for however many um, characters for the width. And then, when it's done with that, it does another loop which draws vertically the left, the left line going down the left side and then the, the right line going down the right side. So it draws those separately. So if we run the program, you notice that it has B, 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 top and bottom, and then A, A, A going down the left and right. That was just to illustrate that these are two different loops. There's one loop for the A's and there's a different loop for the B's. So now if we look at the, the variables down here, you have your, essentially these variables right here control where the box is. The box, the height, the width, the X position, the Y position, and the color. So if you just set these variables, you can change the position of the, the box that gets drawn, the color, and the width and height of the box. And so if you just play with those variables, you can create your own little effects if you put them in a loop. And that's what I've done with this box effect program. So let's comment out a few lines. Let's see if I can get my keys. And this, it, it it does a, a box effect and does it in a loop really fast. So let's see what it does just to show you. The first effect, I'd only, I've only did two of them. So that's one where it, you draw a box that looks like it's kind of enclosing in and then popping out, in, out, in, out. And then the other effect that I did, let's take a look at that. 
It's more of a mesmerizing look. So if you go really quick, you can kind of have all these colors simultaneously drawn. And for some reason that looks like yarn to me. <laughs> so let's take a look at the box effect part of the code. The first one is the one that looks like the yarn. It's really short. It's just setting up the width and the height. And then it's setting up the, it's the um, X and the Y position. It's just increasing the X and Y and then decreasing the width and the height. And then it um, increments the box color to the next color and then does it 12 times in a loop. It draws the box and there is a delay in there. So that's the box effect. And then the one that goes in and then out, in, out, this one's a little more um, it's similar, but it's a little more involved because there's one loop to draw to to draw the boxes where it goes in, where it decreases, decreases, decreases the the width and the height, and then there's another loop where it increases the width and the height, so it goes in the opposite direction. And uh, this could be shortened up with either a macro or by uh, calling a sub. So uh, it. That is my take on drawing a box on the Commodore 64, and I would uh, challenge you guys to see if you can uh, see what kind of coat or what kind of uh, subroutine you could come up with, maybe a little cleaner than what I've come up with here. In my example, I used uh, self-modifying code in order to set up set up these uh, loops right here. But um, be interested to see what kind of effects that. You, you guys could come up with if you wanted to play along, but anyhow, that's the fun with boxes segment and you can check out the code over on my GitHub and I'll stuff it in the Zephyldar series folder and I'll name it box.asm.